in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a montage from your image or a series of images that you've captured from the microscope and the reason i'm showing you to this tutorial is because you can actually perform this montage using a single click rather than the one i showed you about uh, two years ago on how to make this montage in my previous video i showed you how to make montage by going to image color and uh, merge channel i showed you how to combine the three different fluorescence channel together and then you will have a single image that has the three so now we have these three and then i what i did in that video was that i went to image stacks and then i click make montage and then i defined how big or small i want the image to be and then we have this type of montage however i'm going to show you a simpler way today on how to do it so that you don't have to be going back and forth going through that long process so with this image here that is open i'm going to go to image i'm going to stacks and then i'm going to select the functions that says tools and then select the one that says magic montage tool when you select that option it's going to populate your uh, window screen with this various option if i click on the first one you can see it automatically produced the montage i didn't have to start or uh, splitting and going to uh, the first process which i've shown you so this has to make a montage what if you then want another layer of the image where you have maybe you combine the red and the green together that's very easy all you have to do is on this particular one this third uh, box that shows the blue and the gray shaded one if i click on any of this uh, image i can swap them i can swap their position all i have to do is select this image click on it and then drag it if i drag it it changes position and you can also drag this down that way you have an empty space there is an option for us to copy two together so i've copied these two image by just clicking on the first one and dragging it over the second one now i can when i drag click on the first image and drag it on the second one i can use the ctrl c function on my keyboard to copy that image and then come to this blank space select one of the blank spaces if you are copying a single image if it is two i'm going to drag it across two area and then paste the image using ctrl v so you can see i've copied this these first two images and copy them to the base now if i want to merge the green the blue on the red all i have to do is click on the blue ctrl c which is to copy click on the green image and paste this now we have a green and blue merged image i can do the same by clicking on the on the red one click on it press ctrl c on your keyboard select the green image and press ctrl v to paste the image so you can see that we're able to then create matched image uh, with this uh, method i can also go as well as click on this red one copy it and paste it on the green so that i have the three channels matched together alternatively i might want to just match the blue and the red together i can just click here copy the red click select the empty space press ctrl v to paste it there and now i'm coming back to the blue ctrl c to copy click on the red image ctrl v to paste and now we have images that have been merged with different combination all with a single click instead of us going back and forth clicking the single images or merging all this together individually and going to maybe uh, photoshop or uh powerpoint to then be arranging them like this the other thing we can do is to also annotate it so give it a b c so select this a b c here if you click on it on the image it should label the images so what i'm going to do because the our color picker is in a black mode so you you won't be able to see the th color of the text so what i'm going to do is to click on the color icon here by double clicking on it and now i'm going to be selecting let's say we want to use white so it's going to it should be white by the time we by the time we select that i'm going to double click on the annotation for the abc 
and you see we have the option to either notate as a lower case or as a bigger case so if you if you untick this we should be having the capital or uh, we should have the capital function to annotate our image and now if i select click on the image you can see it has labeled that as a that as b c d e and f and now this image is ready to be for us to export another thing you can do before you export is to add a scale bar and to add scale bar all you have to do is to go to analyze a process sorry analyze tools and select the one that says save scale bar because this particular image i'm using for the tutorial is in pixel it's going to be showing the value in pixel so i'm not going to touch that but if it's a confocal image that contains the metadata it will be showing it as a micron image so i'm going to leave it as a pixel since that's what the image is currently or uh, hard i'm going to increase the thickness of the of the of the scale bar by just changing this to 10 you can see that now we have a thicker scale bar you can decide to increase the font so that the text is readable i'll make that about 26 and now you can see that we can read the 120 uh, 160 pixels clearly and then you can decide to make it uh, to untick the overlay so that it's just sit, uh, it's burnt into the image and i'll say okay and now i can export this image by going to file click on save as and i'm going to select it to save as tiff and i'm going to save that to the desktop and click save now i can close my image j and look for the image that we just finished processing today look at that our image are here the reason why the abc did not show it's because of the overlay that i removed if i have bought when i added the overlay i should have tell it to uh, freeze into the image so i'm going to try that one more time let's open image j uh, let's open fiji i'm going to drag and drop this i'm going to go and look for the magic montage oh you can see that my abc is still there it's just that it doesn't show when i open the image so in order for me to make sure that this a is burnt the abc annotation is burnt into the image i will go to image select overlay and click on the part that says flatten and now i have a new image i have a new image that if i then save it i should have my annotations shown in the image so i'm going to select that steve and my desktop i think here i'm going to just write repeat so that we know the difference between the first and the second and now i can close my image j if i open the image that we just uh, saved you can see that now we have the a b c d e f so if you ever have that problem whereby you saved an image but the annotation you put on it is not showing just use the flatten option that i just showed you thank you for watching today's video if you enjoy watching my video do not forget to click on the thumbs up icon and uh, don't for also forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next tutorial until next time bye bye